Hi, I'm Terry and I'm nuts about stamping. I'm back today with another Sundays with Sizzix project. I'm going to create a thank you card using my Big Shot and the Everyday Occasions card kit. If you haven't seen this card kit, you really whoops need to sit up and take notice about it. The kit comes with pretty much everything you need to make 20 cards and envelopes. It comes with a tips and tricks brochure with some little explanations. You do need to provide your own snail adhesive and scissors or you can uh, do an add-on to this kit and I'll have the information over on my blog. Comes with a stamp set. I mean literally it comes with everything you need. Envelopes, little die cuts, it comes with two Stampin' Spots, the Island Indigo and the Basic Gray. Everything you need. So what I've done is I have, because I've been stamping for quite a while, I took one of the ideas that was in the brochure and I'm going to add my own little special twist to it using the thank you image that I've already gone ahead and mounted on clear block C. These are the items I chose out of the kit. There's this card base with the polka dots. There is a doily, a paper doily. There is a little, um, it's a little die cut. It looks like um, note paper that you would use in elementary school and I trimmed it down a little bit. A die cut heart with a fancy scroll on it. I punched out one of the silver glimmer paper banners and then I already went ahead and threaded a button. This is um, basic gray baker's twine and one of the buttons that comes in the kit and I went ahead and threaded it and made a knot. And now I'm going to show you what I'm going to do to add just a little special touch to this card to bump it up a notch. So I have a large island indigo classic Stampin' Pad and I'm going to use that instead of the spot and I'll probably use the spot as a little thank you gift for one of my customers who places an online order so I'm not going to open that up since I already have the big pad. I'm going to ink up the thank you and I'm going to stamp it down on a piece of scrap whisper white paper and then I'm going to bring in my Big Shot, my magnetic platform and my Hearts of Flutter framelits and I'm going to take the heart framelit out of the pack and I'm going to die cut my stamped phrase to add as a layer on my card. But I'm going to do it at a sort of a jaunty little angle like so. Oh, but I guess I need to turn my cardstock so that it travels through the big shot. Put on the top standard cutting pad and then die cut the phrase. And then the last thing I'm going to do is just put the card together, just as it shows in the instruction booklet, with this added little touch for my thank you. Alright, so let me bring this back in. I'm going to take my paper doily, and I'm going to put it on the front of my card, and then I'm going to take the um, little heart that I punched out of the paper. There's lots of images that you can punch out and put on your cards. It's so cool. And then I'm going to use this um, little note paper that I punched out and I'm going to try and just tuck it underneath my paper doily or on top of my paper doily, sorry. <clears throat> and underneath the heart, let's try and get it straight here. Okay, so I've got that so far. And then I'm going to take my thank you that I've die cut out using the Hearts of Flutter, and I'm going to put it down here, like so. Then I'm going to bring in the Silver Glimmer Paper banner that I also punched out. You can see how quick and easy it is to make a card using this kit. So I've got that so far. And then the last thing I want to do is 
in the kit there are some Stampin' Dimensionals. So I'm going to put a Stampin' Dimensional on the back side of my button, like so, peel off the tail. And then I'm going to stick my button on top of my glimmer paper banner to complete the card. And there we go, a very artistic and super cute little thank you card that I created using my Everyday Occasions card kit and my Big Shot. For a complete listing of the supplies that I used to make this card, along with information about the two different Everyday Occasion kits you can purchase, please hop on over to my blog, www.nutsaboutstamping.com. While on my blog, make sure you're a newsletter subscriber. I have several newsletters that come out each month for free. You can cruise through my blog for lots of other sample ideas. You can ask me a question, or there's a link there to my online store so you can place an order for the Everyday Occasions card kit. Great for you, and also great Christmas gift idea for somebody special. I'm Terry. I am nuts about stamping. See you next time. Bye for now.